Okay, this is the Nikon Super Cool Scan 9000 that uh, someone is buying. I think his name is Christopher. Just doing a quick demo. It's just plugged in. I'm going to power it up. Okay, and then you get this flashing light action. It starts to unpark the mechanism inside. Um, I'm going to fire this up. This is my test laptop that I use for doing scans. And I'm just going to plug some cables in. It's one of the few laptops that actually has a firewire connection. So I'm just going to plug that sucker in. This one's mini firewire. I don't know why, but my, uh, my eyesight's not the greatest. There we go. So I'll fire that up. Okay. And there we go. So this is running a version of uh, OS X. It's running Snow Leopard. It's one of the few OSs that supports this scanner fully without any issues. Um, so that might be the only issue you might have. Um, if you are running Windows 7, you might be able to get this to work as well. But I haven't had experience personally with that. Um, I'm more of a Mac guy to be honest. So after a while, the, the lights do stop flashing on the scanner. There we go. Now it's ready to go. So I'm going to plug the other end in. Okay, there's the other firewire end. Okay, so what we can do is, let's see, it's been a while since I've done this. I'm just going to go to the Apple, going to validate that everything is here. In terms of settings, we're going to go more info. Okay, we're going to go to Firewire and see if this picks up. And there it is. There's the 9000 ED. And it's got all your info as well as the product revision level. Okay, so now that's done. Now let's fire up this lovely program here. Uh, I know there's other ones that you can run. You can run View Scan or whatnot. Um, I like Nikon Scan because it offers a lot of, uh, a lot of flexibility and tools. So it's just checking. I'm just going to cancel that. All right. So I'm just going to fire up my first negative up. We'll do a quick preview scan here. Nice thing is uh, we've got the tray loaded up. So that way you'll know scans 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It'll make sense once you do your, your scanning um, as to know which one belongs to which number. So let me just drop this phone here for a sec, load up the scan. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Just going to put this in real quick. Um, best if you've got gloves for this, but since this is a quick scan, I'm just going to run this real quick as is. Okay, and we will feed it in. Okay, once it's done, it does a quick check. Um, there's this film strip thing here. And I know I've got a, a negative in number one. I'm gonna do a quick preview here. Double click. And it's going to acquire the, uh, the initial preview so you can see uh, what's going on. Yeah, eventually once you get used to the software, um, you'll set up templates. Uh, like you'll set up your initial photo, 
do your adjustments and then you can copy and paste them all throughout these. So 1, 2, 12. And then eventually you can just stamp it. Um, you can do all of your scans in one sitting. Just, you know, just set it up so that way you can do your scans. Uh, you're going to walk away and then once you come back, you'll either have your TIFFs or NEFs or whichever ones uh, you're, you're specifying for a scan. Okay, so, and there it is. That's the initial scan there. Um, yeah, I could have probably cleaned up the negative a bit because it's picking up a bit of dust. Um, but the nice thing is since the scanner does have ice, um, you'll be able to get rid of all of those uh, artifacts. So if you go here, Nikon browser, is this the one? There's like a little tool pane I'm missing here. Where is it? Ah, there it is, tool palette. And there's where you can do all your different options. Um, and yeah, we can obviously set some of them on. Uh, I usually make adjustments using Lightroom, but yeah, if you want, you can enable your digital ice. If you want to do a quick scan, it'll it'll clean it up. But it it does add a bit of time. But for the most part, we can do uh, we can do a quick scan. Let's see here. We'll enable it ice, and we'll leave the other settings as stock. And it's just going to do this scan. It's just going to do that one image and that's it. It, uh, it takes a bit of time for it to uh, do its magic. Anyways, while it's doing its scan, yeah, I can show you some of the trays that you're getting. The scanner normally comes with three trays. Um, this one's for your medium format stuff. So if you're doing your 6x7 or um, 4x5, it'll, it should be able to do those. Um, some people have black masks that they uh, surround around the, uh, the negatives. That's totally, uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to build those out. Um, they also have a different carrier that has glass. Uh, it doesn't come with it though, unfortunately. And then there's this one here. Uh, this one is if you've got uh, 35 mil slides. Uh, this is a great little unit. I uh, use this a lot actually uh, to scan some old Kodachrome slides. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. But yeah, depending on the options that you use for scanning, um, it can take anywhere from five ten minutes for your for, for your scan to even half hour to forty five minutes, depending on the options, depending on the bit rate, um, any certain options that you might select. Um, other than ICE, uh, there's also post processing. Uh, there's Rock, which does uh, restoral uh, colors. Uh, there's, there's, it's stuff that you'd have to play with. I generally keep most of that stuff turned off, but uh, you could turn it on. And of course, I have no idea where this file is going to be kept. But let's see if it comes up. It should come up uh, right away. Well, after it does its processing. have it so the ice does a pretty good job at cleaning up the uh, the negatives so any sort of dusts or scratches scratches or whatnot it, it does pretty good you can increase the uh, the amount um, of ice that you want to use but generally speaking just out of the box just normal is great and that's it hope uh, hope that does the, the trick for you that's pretty much the uh, pretty much it for the scanner um, Otherwise, uh, yeah, you should be good to go. There should be the eject. And that's it. Thanks.